I started Forex trading in 2015 and seven years ago, a lot of things have changed in the Forex market. So the big question you should be asking yourself is, is 2022 a good year to start trading Forex? So on today's video, we're going to talk about the pro and the cons, the advantages and the disadvantages of starting Forex trading in 2022. Talking about the advantages is going to enable us to know how we can leverage these advantages. And talking about the disadvantages is also going to tell us how we can prepare ourselves to avoid these advantages so that together we shall cross 2022. So the big question is, is 2022 still a good year to start Forex trading? So if you're hyped and ready for us to get into the video, please smash the like button on the video and let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Tema Zegolov and on this channel we talk everything about trading, business, crypto, personal finance and tips to help you stay profitable on a consistent basis. So if this is your first time coming to my channel or if you have been watching and you haven't subscribed, please smash the subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel so that you can always be updated once I come up with awesome content like this. So the topic of today is very, very straight to the forward. Is 2022 still a good year to start Forex trading? If you check on the comment section below, every day I receive at least 10 comments. Since this is still January, still the beginning of 2022, I receive at least 10 comments of people asking me if 2022 is still a good year for them to start trading Forex. I started trading Forex seven years ago, that was 2015. And from 2015 to now, a lot of things have changed in the forex market so what has changed in the forex market is it advantageous to us as forex traders is it disadvantageous to us as forex traders and how can we leverage the advantages which we have now and also prepare ourselves against the disadvantages which we have as of present okay let's start with the pros we're going to talk about the pros of trading forex in 2022 then after that we're also going to talk about the cons or the disadvantages of trading forex in 2022 remember the disadvantages are not to discourage you i'm just bringing up the disadvantages to tell you how you can better prepare yourself not to fall into some of the loopholes or not to fall into some of the traps all right that is why i'm still going to be bringing up the disadvantages let's start with the positive ones all right let's start positivity is always the most important thing so let's start with the pros the first pro on our list, the first pro, if you have to trade Forex in 2022, the first pro we have is accessibility, all right? It's accessibility. I remember when I started in 2015, there was, I, the, only, the only platform I could use was, uh, I think I started with uh, IQ Options. And by that time, IQ Options never even had uh, a mobile app. You could only sign up through their web. They, they didn't even have an app. You could only sign up through a web application. So when you go on this website, sometimes the website used to be lagging. Sometimes you place your trade, it takes forever to load before the trade is executed. So accessibility was very, very difficult. But now in 2022, you just need to take, you just need to take your mobile phone or your, your computer and you have access to the market. So in 2022, accessibility is there. You just need your mobile phone or your computer and you already have access to the market and you can place your first trade, you can place your first practice trade and you are good to go. So accessibility is there. The first, the second point on our list, if you have to trade Forex on our, or, or in 2022, or the first, the second pro, or the first, the second advantage on our list is technology, technology, technology. In 2022, you guys can already bear with me. From 2015, when I started to now, within that seven period span of years, a lot of things have changed. A lot of technology has come into trading. A lot of advanced technology has come into trading. Part of that uh, technology is what we call robotic trading. In 2015, when I started, I didn't hear about anything about robotic trading only come into play, I think from 2019 going upward, all right? So there was nothing like robotic trading. The only thing you could do is everything you had to do, you had to do your trading manually. It's of now, I have my own personal robot that I've developed myself. I'm more than eight personal robot. I have my own personal VPS that I use. In 2015, there was nothing like VPS, all right? Now, if I place my trade, if I place my trade on my MT5, I don't even care if my computer is going to be on or if there's internet on my computer. I'm going to use a VPS and my trades are going to be active 24-7. That is still technology that is 
available in 2022, but it wasn't available in 2015. Then another technology which we also have, another advanced technology, faster internet. I remember in 2015 uh, at my college, at, at my university, that sometimes I used to place a trade. I even go to class before, com before coming back to class, before that trade is executed. You place a trade, you see it's going to load. It loads forever because of slow internet. Sometimes you buy at a particular price. Before that particular trade is executed, you've already jumped to another price. And by that time, your account is already, you've already started blowing your account. All right? That is technology. That is advanced technology. And now we have faster internet. In my office, if you can check in my office, everywhere in my office is 5G. There is internet all over my compound. Internet is there, 5G. Internet is everywhere. Internet is super fast. That is technology, all right? Technology was not there in 2010. Technology was not advanced in 2015. Uh, Another point on our list is uh, regulations. In 2015, when I started, most 90% of all Forex brokers were not regulated. So it was very, very difficult for their activities to be monitored. I remember when I started, I blew my first Forex account, which was the, the, the heavy one, was the entire, my entire life savings, including my house rent, which was almost about $2,000. By, by that time in Cameroon, $2,000 is more than 1 million francs, all right? So that was a lot of money for me. So I blew that $2,000 uh, with IQ options, and by that time, IQ option wasn't even regulated. So even if they manipulated my trade, there was no way I was going to report that. There was no way I was even going to trade because they were not regulated. It is, as of now, Forex, trade, uh, Forex brokers are monitored and they are regulated. So if somebody actually manipulates your trade, there's a, a regulatory body that you can go up to them and you report and you say, okay, see, these people actually manipulated my trade. These people, these people do this, these people do this, these people do that. So the Forex market is regulated and their activities can be monitored now. Another point uh, on, on our list, another pro, another advantage of starting Forex trading in 2022 is communities. Communities. Now, when I started in Forex, when I started in 2015, by that time, I was the only person in Cameroon, the entire, in, in, the, in the entire country, right? In the entire country, I was the only person who, who has ever heard of Forex. I was the only person practicing Forex. Even when I, met, when I met some of my friends and I mentioned of Forex, they just laugh at me. They say, boy, you, you've started that your nonsense again. This thing is never going to give you money. So I was the only person. There was no community where I could actually learn how to, how to trade. There was no community where we could share ideas. There was no community where we could even share some of the market sentiment. So I was alone. I was alone. It was a sea where I was the only person. I was trying to figure everything out out by myself but now in 2022 there are a lot of communities there are facebook groups there are, uh, there are telegram groups uh, even when it comes to me i have my telegram group i have my discord community if you want to join me in discord you can check the link below i have my discord community i have so they, they are instagram community so so because because of that in 2022 there are a lot of communities that will allow you to be able to associate with your inner circle with people who are talking about forex on a daily basis with people who are sharing ideas about forex on a daily basis so talking about that those are communities which are only which are only available in 2022 and they were not there in 20 or in 2015 when i just started trading forex good another pro another pro of trading forex in 2022 is the potential for fast returns the potential for fast returns i remember i remember when i started in 2015 i started with iq options i was trading iq option thinking i was trading forex all right so with IQ options, if you actually invest $100 and you press on buy or sell, the maximum you can get is $0.8. So you can't even get, if the trade has to go your way, the maximum you can get is $0.8, is, is 80%. Is 80%. You can't even get up to $1 which you invested. That was a big disadvantage by then. But now with the potential of Forex trading, you can place a trade of $1 and at the end of the day, you make $10. You can place a trade of $1 at the end of the day, you make $30. That is a risk to reward of 1 is to 3, risk to reward of 1 is to 4, risk to reward of even 1 is to 10. Those potentials are now, and the potential to make fast returns are available in 2022. And they were not available in 2015 when I just started. So another point on our list why you should start trading Forex in 2022 is liquidity. Where there's liquidity, that's where the money is, right? Liquidity just means there are buyers and sellers available. There's demand and supply available. Anytime you press on buy, there's somebody on the opposite, on the opposite side who is ready to sell. And anytime you press on sell, 
there's somebody on the opposite side of your computer who is ready to buy. So because of that liquidity, where, where there's liquidity, there's actually money to be made. So liquidity in 2022 as compared to 2015 is very, very high. That is why you can see trades like this. You can see trades like this where I take a $5,000 account to maybe a $60,000 account. That is possible. You can see on this screenshot. That is all possible in 2022. By the time I started in 2015, these opportunities were not there. Another point on our list is fewer fees and commissions. All right? In 2022, because of competition, remember everybody wants to form a forex broker. And because of competition, because everybody wants to form a, a brokerage firm, there are so many brokerage firms. And because of that, there is competition. And anytime there is, comp anytime, and anytime there is competition, the consumers gain. And who are the consumers? We are the consumers, right? The retail traders are the, are the consumers. So anytime there is competition, just like in economics, anytime there is competition, the consumers gains and who are the consumers we are the consumers so because of the competition at the level of brokers we have lower fees to pay and we also have lower commissions and even lower spreads to pay i remember in 2015 when i started sometimes when you place a trade you need to pay spreads of 10 pips you need to pay a commission of maybe 10 percent of what you are trading that is not available in 2022 in 2022 there are, four, there are fewer spreads there are fewer commissions and there are fewer fees for you to pay that is giving you an advantage or giving you more room to make money in forex trading another point on our list, another advantage why you should start trading Forex in 2022, variety of pairs, variety of pairs. In Forex trading, we have variety of pairs which you can trade. As the time, in, as the time evolve, more pairs are coming into trading, more indices are coming, uh, more metas are coming, and because of that, there is a greater room for you to play, all right? There are more opportunities for you to make money in 2022 as compared to 2015 when I just started trading Forex. Another point and the last pro, the last advantage on our list that will tell you that you need to be able to start Forex trading today. I will say today, not tomorrow. The mo another point on our list that will tell you that you need to start for trading Forex today is ease of entry ease of entry ease of entry the forex industry is the highest industry in the world that is having ease of entry it doesn't have any barrier of entry it's not like being a doctor or being an engineer or being uh, uh, being an astronaut where okay there are barriers of entry it is difficult to enter no with forex trading this is the highest industry in the world that is having ease of entry you can wake up today and you decide that you want to be a forex trader and nobody's going to stop you so long as you are dedicated and you give yourself to learn how to trade you actually be able to make money in forex trading so the ease of entry is there so now that we've spoken about uh, the pros the advantages of being a forex trader or the advantages of starting forex trading in 2022 let's go to the cons all right let's go to the cons or let's go to the disadvantages the reasons why i was able to bring the advantages is to tell you how you can leverage how can you leverage these advantages now that I'm bringing the cons to you or the disadvantages to you, how can you be able to avoid or how can you be able to prepare yourself to avoid some of these disadvantages, all right? So that is the reason why we can't talk about the advantages without talking about the disadvantages. We can't talk about the pros without talking about the cons, all right? So the, 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 the first disadvantage, the first disadvantage on our list or the first con on our list is Forex scams. All right, forex scams, forex scams. According to the research that was done recently, the forex industry is the highest industry in the whole world with a total, with the highest number of scams. All right, this is the industry with the highest number of scams. So since they know that many people, there is no, there is ease of entry and many people want to trade forex, people are trying to people are trying to are trying to take those witnesses to actually steal money from people that is why you start seeing investment scams people even impersonators on my channel i have from the research we did recently i had more than 50 accounts that were actually impersonating me they were actually to send them money that is why if you check on all my videos there's always that warning that warning that tells you that i will never ask i will never call you to ask money from you i'll never ask money f f uh, uh, from you to trade i'll never ask money to do account management investment 
I have a lot of money. I make a lot of money from my own personal trading. All right, so I don't do account management. I don't do investments. I don't do, I don't sell courses. I don't sell signals. No, any of that is a scam. And many people have been able to come beside, have been able to, to, go, be, to, to go behind legitimate traders and professional forex traders like us to steal money from people because they know that they are, this is the highest in industry that has no, uh, no, no barrier for entry. It has no barrier of entry. Many people want to get into that industry and then they come behind, they create fake, fake website, they sell you fake robot, fake, fake signals. At the end of the day, you're going to be able to lose your money to scammers. So this is the highest industry that is having a lot of scams. So how can you avoid this? When you are starting in forex trading, please don't be desperate. Don't be desperate when you are starting in forex trading. Give yourself time to actually learn the skills. Forex trading is not a get rich quick scheme, but it is a get rich sure scheme. Let me re repeat this, right? Forex trading is not a get rich quick scheme, but it is a get rich sure scheme. I'm rich in forex trading for sure, but I didn't get rich because I didn't get rich overnight. So it wasn't a get rich quick scheme for me. Any time I used to think of forex trading as a get rich quick scheme, I end up losing all my money. I end up blowing all my entire account. So forex trading is a get rich short scheme, but not a get rich quick scheme. So give yourself time uh, to actually learn the skills. Don't be desperate because the time you are desperate, you're going to fall in the hands of all these scammers and they're going to crush you. They're going to take everything you have. They're going to take everything you have including money to buy even your groceries. So be careful, be careful. When you are coming into the forex industry, you need to be able to understand that many people are trying to leverage people's weaknesses to actually steal their money. Give yourself time to actually learn the skills. Don't be desperate. Choose who you actually listen to and give yourself time to actually master the skills. It's like being a pilot, it's like being a doctor. You can't just get into the pilot school today and you expect to be a pilot after two days. No, you need to give yourself time to actually master the skis. Another disadvantage in the forex industry in 2022, which was not there in 2015 when I just started, is transparency. In 2022, there's actually lack of transparency, all right? There's actually lack of transparency in the forex market. There are even situations where some brokers, because since brokers already know that, uh, even on this channel, I have preached time with that number that you should never use any broker which is not an ECN. ECN stands for Electronic Communication Network. So there are even some of the brokers that have watched my videos and they'll go on their website. These brokers are market makers. Market makers want you to lose all your money, all right? They want you to lose your money because when you lose that money, it goes directly to them as their OTC gains. It goes directly to them as their over-the-counter gains. So since market makers want you to lose all your money, they will go on their website and since they know that many people are looking for ECN, many people are looking for electronic communication network brokers, they will go on their website and they will state on their website that they are actually ECN of which they are market makers. So you go on their website, you sign up an account with this broker thinking they are market makers. At the end of the day, there's going to be manipulation. There's going to be price manipula manipulation that will cause you to blow your account. But at the, at the level of their website, they stated very clearly that they were ACN or they, that they were ECN of which they are market makers. If you want to use the same ECN broker which I use, please check the link below to be able to use the same broker which I have used. You can know how to trade, you can know how to do this thing, but if you don't have the right broker, there is no way you're going to make money. So in 2022, there is actually lack of transparency. Many brokers will come up to you and they'll tell you they are ECN of which they are market makers. When you deposit their money, they will do everything. They will do everything possible to make sure you lost that money. Because when you lost that money, it goes directly to their pocket. And anytime you make a profit, it's going to be painful for them because they actually have to remove that money from their pocket to pay you. As opposed to ECN Forex brokers, they want you to make money all the time because the more you make money, the more you're going to open with bigger lot sizes and the more everybody is going to make money at the end of the day. The only thing they want from you is just a commission. Meanwhile, market makers, they want uh, commissions from you, they want spread, they want OTC gains. So greediness will cause them to do everything possible to make you to lose your money. So lack of transparency. Uh, transparency. So lack of transparency in 2022 is something which wasn't there uh, in 2015 when I just started. So another disadvantage or another con of starting forex trading in 2022, something you need to prepare yourself is high leverage. 
High leverage. Remember, I've mentioned time without number. That leverage is a two-side sword. All right? Leverage is a two-side sword. You have the bad side and you have the good side. If you are just starting in forex trading, please try to avoid leverage as much as possible because that will be that will be that will be the quickest way to send you to your early financial grave. All right? But if you are experienced in forex trading and you have watched all the videos on this particular playlist, you watch all the videos and you are experienced on, on in forex, then you can start using leverage. So because of that. Since brokers know that many people come into forex trading because they are very, very greedy, they want to make their money overnight, they give you leverage of even one is to 3,000. There are brokers, I don't want to be calling names, but there are some brokers that will give you leverage of one is to 3,000. They will give you leverage of one is to 1,000, one is to 2,000. Guys, don't even fool yourself. There's no way you make money from that kind of leverage. It's going to be the quicker way for you to blow all your account in a matter of minutes. So when you are starting in forex trading, the, the highest leverage you can use is one is to five hundred. Even as experienced and as profitable as I am, the highest leverage that I'm using to today is one is to five hundred. I can't use anything above one is to five hundred. So don't fool yourself. Higher leverage doesn't mean you're going to make money. Higher leverage just means it's going to be a quicker way to send you to your early financial grave. Good. Another disadvantage, another disadvantage in 2022, another disadvantage which is still available in 2022 is self-directed learning. Self-directed learning. Because even if you pay some of these fake gurus and you want them to teach you forex trading, at the end of the day, you see that most of the things which they are teaching you, they're just teaching you garbage. Because not that I'm not giving credit, I actually went through an institution when I was learning how to trade forex, all right? If you have watched the first video on my channel, I already gave you guys the whole cycle what i went through and i went through an institution an institution where i was paying 200 dollars every month straight for 18 months all right almost two years straight for 18 months and when i left that institution and i started doing research on my own what i gained what i gained doing my own self-directed learning doing my own personal learning wasn't even compared to what i learned from that school all right so that is why i said even in 2022 you have a lot of people that will come up to you and they'll tell you they want to teach you how to trade forex at the end of the day what you just gain from their course will be totally trash when you start doing your own personal research you see that whatsoever you learn from them there was no way that thing was going to gear you to ever make any money in forex trading so that disadvantage is still available in 2022 and the best way for you to go is to choose your mentor deliciously choose your mentor religiously and make sure you choose the people you want to listen from very wisely so another disadvantage of starting forex trading in 2022 which you actually have to prepare yourself is you need to be aware that there's actually a potential of small forex traders being swallowed by big forex traders or being swallowed by big institution what do i mean in the forex industry us as retail forex traders retail forex traders we constitute just about five percent <laughs> hear what i'm saying we constitute just about 5% of the entire forex industry. The forex industry is having about $6.6 .6 trillion. That's trillion with a T, all right? That is trillion with a T. So the forex industry is having about $6.6 .6 trillion transactions per day. And out of that $6.6 .6 trillion transactions per day, the retail industry, which is us, the retail forex traders, constitute of just about five percent all right so the big the bigger picture the big people the big fish in the industry are still commercial banks you are still trading against the west fargo bank of america hsb you are still trading against the bigger bank so the big fish in the industry are still commercial banks hedge funds uh, fund managers and and, and 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 big institutions like that so you need to be aware that when you are coming into this industry you are not coming to compete with those big guys because you won't even win the competition so just come and get your own share on the industry learn your own your own strategies to to succeed as a retail forex traders we i teach all of those strategies on this channel so learn your own strategies that will enable you to succeed as a retail forex trader and stick on your lane all right don't try to chill with the big boys when it comes to forex when you haven't reached to the level at the level where you can chill with the big boys don't chill with the big boys when it's not yet time to chill with the big boys so that is the last uh, disadvantage for starting forex trading in 2022 so what is the way forward now i've already brought the advantages to you guys 
The advantages will help you to know how you can leverage these advantages because there's never been a time to be a millionaire. There's never been a time to, to, to start forex trading. There's never been a time to make money in forex trading than 2022. So the advantages will help you to guide you on how you can be able to leverage these advantages. And the reason why I brought disadvantages was to better position you, to position you in a better position, to put you in a better position that will enable you not to fall into these scams, not to fall into some of these traps that cause small forex traders to lose all their money. So it's never been a good time to start forex trading than 2022. So I hope you've been able to gain some value from this video. If you've watched to, to this particular point, remember I'm going to pick some winners who are going to comment, I watched to the end. All right. So put these eye emojis, the eye emojis, I'm going to put it on the screen. So put these eye emojis and you just type on the comment section, I watched to the end. And I'm going to pick three, three, uh, three winners who are actually going to be able to join my Patreon community or my Discord community for free. Talking about my Patreon community, if you want me to mentor you, if you want to hear from me one-on-one, -on -one, check my Patreon link below. On Patreon, you have access to my Discord community where I share ideas on a daily basis with hundreds of hundreds of mentees that I'm actually mentoring. So check my Discord or my Patreon link below to be able to join me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching to this particular point. If you want to be able to watch other videos that are related to this particular topic, please watch this video, which I'm going to leave the link here. I'm going to leave the link over here. So watch this video so that you can be able to know most of this topic that are linked together. And also make sure you check out my free Telegram channel. Check me out on Instagram. Make sure you smash the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you smash the subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Check out other good stuff. Check the link below to be able to use the same Forex broker that I use. You can know how to trade Forex. You can know how to do all these things. But coming to 2022, if you want to know the Forex broker that is still working in 2022, check the link below to be able to use the same Forex broker I use. And click the link below. Click the link over there to watch that other video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.